Okay, in this video we will cover um, section 1.2 and this is the second part of the examples. So in this video the example 2 says use the graph of f to find the following. If an answer does not exist, write d n e. Excuse me, d n e. And these directions are consistent with what you'll see in WebAssign. Okay? So this is my function here. It's all graphed out for me. And the first thing that they want me to find is f of negative 2. What that means is I need to find the function value when x is negative 2. Okay? Or another way of saying that is finding the y value of the function when x is equal to negative 2. So if I look here, this is 0 and this is negative 5, which means these increments need to be in units of 1. So this would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. Okay. So the x value at negative 2 is here. And if you read the graph going up and down, you never hit the function ever. It's because there's a vertical asymptote denoted by this dotted line here. So there is no function value. There is no y value when x is negative 2. Therefore, for this response, I would type in does not exist or DNE. Okay. For part B, it says find the limit of the function as x approaches negative 2. So now I'm not looking at what's happening at negative 2. I'm looking at what's happening around negative 2. So if I start on the right hand side, here I get a function value and if I follow this function value toward the left so I can get closer to negative 2, it's actually going up to positive infinity. And if I go over here to the left side of negative 2, my y value is down here somewhere indicated by that arrow. But as I get closer to negative 2 going to the right, my y value is going to get closer and closer and closer to this asymptote. Okay? Which means this is actually going to negative infinity. Well, if my left hand limit and my right hand limit are not the same thing, this one's going to negative infinity and this side is going to positive infinity, then that means that this limit by itself does not exist. It must be approaching the same number in order for the limit to exist. So for part C, it's similar to part A. So I have to find the function value when the x is equal to 0. Here x is equal to 0 and if I scan vertically and, uh, up and down, you'll notice you have two points of interest. However, for this point it's an open circle, which means there is no point defined at 0. Whereas this point is solid, that means the function is defined at 0. And this value, if this is 6, that means these increments would have to be going by 1, which means my y value is a positive 4. So here I would say my y value is a positive 4. However, part D says find the limit as the function of the function as x goes to 0. So similarly like we did with negative 2, we're going to look at what's happening around 0. So if I go on the left hand side, here's my y value and if I get go to the right to get closer to my 0 x value, if I go to the right I end up approaching this y value of 4. However, when I go to the right of 0, I would have to scan toward the left to get close to 0. So I would scan going in this direction and there is a value that I am approaching, even though it's not defined here, I am approaching this y value of 3. However, just like before with the negative 2, if you're approaching one y value from the left and one y value from the right, then this limit does not exist. It has to be approaching the same y value in order for that limit to exist. Let's move on to part E. Now it says find the function value when x is equal to 3. If this is 5, then my increments must be going by one unit. So here is when x equals to 3, and if you notice, there is no solid dot here, which means the function is not defined here. And if I keep scanning up and down, there is actually no point given when x is equal to 3. 
which means this point does not exist. So now let's look at f. f says find the limit of the function as x approaches 3. So we're going to go around x equal to 3. So on the left hand side, I'm approaching this y value. That y value happens to be a positive 1. And if I go to the right hand side of 3 and approach my 3, I'm actually going to the same y value of 1. So even though the value is not there, it doesn't exist, the limit does exist because both sides are approaching the same value and that y value is 1. Let's move on to number or to letter G. So now it says find the function value of 6. Well, I'm just filling in my number line. Here's 6 and I do have a solid point at 6 and that y value is 2. So this is given and it is 2. Now let's see what happens when we go to do part H which says find the limit as x goes to 6. So again I'm looking to the left and to the right of 6. Well to the left it's going up to positive infinity and to the right it's going up to positive infinity. However when we approach infinity at least for this section we will get some more information about um, limits at infinity later but for this particular section 1.2 when the limits go to infinity we simply say does not exist even though they're both going to positive infinity we don't know if one is going there faster or slower so you can't necessarily that say that they approach the same value so for now we still say that the limit does not exist